Hey everybody, I'll be doing The Blunder, an exercise from the aggregation subsection of the section SQL in HackerRain. So we're given this table employees, has the column's ID name and salary. We'd be interested in the column's salary for the purposes of this exercise. And there's lots going on here, but actually it's a very simple exercise. So you have the salary values, right? Each row has a salary. If we add them up and divide by the number of salaries, you get the average. Now this person here, Samantha, in the exercise, for some reason, she had a keyboard with the key zero broken. So whenever she typed the numbers, uh, it would type the numbers without the zeros. So we have to figure out what's the error. Like if we take the average of the original salaries as they are and then we take the average of the salary values as they were typed without the zeros and what's the difference okay so for, to do this we're first going to take the average normally like we do the average of salary values and then we have to take the average of the salary values with the zeros from each number removed so we have to replace for each value of salary if there's a zero you take that out and we're going to use the replace function to do that. And we take those two averages and we subtract them. And then we have to round up to the next integer. When you want to round up, you use the ceiling function, seal. So if you have like 1.5, you take ceiling of that that will go to 2 because that's the next integer up. So let's get started. I will use MySQL. So if you want to visualize the data, you can do select star from employees. Oops, I forgot from. And here's what the data looks like. We'd be interested in the third column here. Okay, you see this one has a zero, nine, zero, zero, nine. So for the first average, we're gonna do as they are, like this, sum them all up, okay, divide by the number of rows. Now for the second average, we're gonna take this nine, zero, zero, nine, take out the zero, zeros in between, so it becomes 99, and then do that for every single row. For example, this other row, 999, is followed by a zero. Remove the zero, only take 999, and then add them all up with the other ones and take this average. And then at the end, we just subtract from the original average with the zeros included. So let's get started here. Let's first do the one with the zeros already there. So it's just average of salary column. Okay, now what's the other average? Here I'm going to do minus, okay? And this is going to be average of salary, but I need to remove the zeros. How can I do that? Well, we're going to use the replace function. So replace something. What do I want to replace? From the salary column, comma, take any zeros that you find, replace that with nothing. So this is an empty string. It's a single quote, single quote without anything in between. So that will take care to remove all the zeros. So remember that 9009 becomes just 99. And then once you get this average, and we got the other average, you subtract them, but you had to round it up to the next integer. So you take this whole thing and you pass it to the seal, C E I L function. Okay. Let's submit the code. All right, so this is the error, right? The difference between the actual and the miscalculated average.